New Year's blessings, Leo Soul Travelers, and welcome to Venetian Empress Oracle. You're joining Priestess Melissa. We're getting into a reading for everyone around love. So we're going to see what the main energy of love is for you going into the new year. It is Mercury retrograde, so do bear in mind with all of that. We're going to tap into the Romance Angels cards for our main message. We have some resting and strength energy going on here. Um, coming out in the Cosmic Visions Tarot Shuffle. What else do we have going on? Ooh, the Unknown card. So definitely this could be an energy of someone trying to come back into the situation. Somebody trying you or testing you at this time, it could also feel like. We're also going to tap into the Vice Versa Tarot to clarify everything a bit further for your Celtic Cross Spread reading. Also stick around, Leo, to the end of the reading because we will get love messages of advice moving forward from the Romance Angel, or sorry, the Lover's Oracle cards. All right, guys, these are general readings, may or may not resonate with everyone. I do suggest watching these for your Venus sign since that is about love for everyone. So yeah, let's get into the reading, shall we? Blessings to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Thank you for the messages for Leo in love. The lovely Leo, show us what we need to know, please. Wonderful, and thank you so much, Leo, for all of your comments, your likes, your shares, your donations. Everything is really so much appreciated, especially when you comment and let me know how the messages are resonating with you. I really appreciate that. Um, and also subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the readings. Let's see what's going on for Leo in love for the new year. We have children. So your love life is being affected by children. So children are some sort of an aspect going on here. If it isn't, then this refers to um, inner child, you know, type of healing that needs to be done. This could be for yourself, uh, for your partner. Yeah, chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So definitely this could also be, you know, you met when you were children or you've known each other for a long time. Um, religious factors is also coming up. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I was almost hearing that, um, you know, like the way that you choose to raise your children or, you know, your beliefs in general about moral type things, you know, because this is very important, that foundation and what that means to you, what that means to the other person, you know, and if you're not on board on like the really important things, it's going to make a big difference. You could be pregnant at this time or again, um, maybe, you know, if you are pregnant, then it's like you're at this point where it's like it really is important for you to be sure what you're dealing with. You know, make sure you've got all the facts and information here about perhaps this person that you're dealing with. All right, let's see what's going on. I had children come up in my energy for one of the main messages recently. Six of Swords. So definitely you're looking for a resolution to this of calm. And mm, this almost made me think of miscarriage with the death in reverse. Um, because death is an ending. But maybe, you know, this is very interesting. I've got to look at this a little bit more. Five of Swords in reverse. You're definitely not wanting to be in conflict with anyone. Maybe this person, you know, um, you've had children once again with this person. Maybe this person wants to have more children with you. <laughs> all right. But you're just like, uh, I don't know about all of that. Because things have not been very good to begin with, with the temperance in reverse. I do feel like there's been a lot of, you know, yeah, three of swords in reverse. So maybe this person has already disappointed and hurt you, right? And if you are pregnant right now, you know, that can be something that's really weighing on you. Just how you are not happy, you know, with what you're receiving or what you're getting from this person is what I'm getting with this. Yeah, you definitely want to heal. And if you did have a miscarriage, you know, I do see you doing this healing process, you know, that's going to be necessary, especially 
right? Maybe the people that you were dealing with just weren't given to you properly. But that Six of Pentacles in reverse, you know, usually that's saying that there's not an equality within the relationship. And it was always, it seems like, off balance, if you will. Hopes, wishes, and fears, you know, that we will be able to have that happy ending that we can end up in the type of relationship that really does bring us happiness and not more conflict competition if this person did put you you know in a competition um, they could have had a child with someone else is also what i'm seeing here and this is definitely going to throw you off and make you feel make it feel harder to be able to come to a peaceful resolution right knight of pentacles so definitely, you know, there's a lot that needs to be considered before we go into relationship, before we have children, things of that nature. We definitely will save ourselves a lot of trouble if we just ensure that we know what we're dealing with up front, right? Death in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of, you know, this basically indicates a lot of worrying, sleepless nights. You know, it's like maybe, um, yeah, I feel like, let me clarify that a bit further. Yeah, you're definitely uh, cutting yourself off from this person, it feels like. I feel like you do not want to have children with this person, perhaps. Um, maybe you see this person as a karmic, right? You're not confused about... The fact that you basically, you know, don't want to move forward in a situation where things are confusing, where it feels like, you know, somebody is not perhaps being completely honest with you, you know, and that there's just a lot of burdens. It's almost like things aren't panning out the way that you had hoped that they would, you know, and so it's kind of like you already know that you don't want to move forward and, you know, with that two of wands in reverse. And the temperance in reverse, it's like, why do we want to continue to move forward that way? We want to have success. We want to have fulfillment in our lives. But maybe we just keep waiting to see that in this situation that you're dealing with with this person. King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this could be who caused this, you know, three of sword situation who may have been stepping out. You know, the one that is the breadwinner, if you will, right? And again, there's a page of cups energy and the sun with the boy. So again, this definitely has to do with children. Maybe this person, um, yeah, is going to have to pay you money because of basically, you know, causing this heartbreak, causing this upset within your relationship. Maybe you were married with this person. Yeah, definitely, though, things are not looking good here. Somebody is not accepting someone's offer, perhaps, to try to, you know, come back and make things better, if you will. Yep. Four of Cups, you definitely, I feel like, don't see where you can move forward with this person with the chariot in reverse. It's like, yeah, no, whole, you know, back the train up kind of situation, right? We got to see what's going on here. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So it's like, you know, I feel like, you, yeah, you're holding back from this person for sure. Four of Pentacles with the star energy. Um, you're focused on your healing. I think you feel like you've seen a lot of chaos in this relationship. And even if you do have children with this person, you know, I don't see that that's going to cause you to stay you know, in a situation that isn't working for you. Yeah, you definitely just six of cups in reverse, as well as the uh, seven of wands in reverse. It's like you're no longer wanting to fight for a situation, you know, have to feel like, you know, you depend on somebody who basically really isn't there for you, doesn't really show up to begin with, you know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, to have a victory in this situation, it's basically understanding, you know, what it is that doesn't bring you happiness and really um, 
honestly, with the religious factors and with the children and everything, just being honest with yourself about, you know, even if you do have chemistry with somebody, there's a lot more to it than just that. And you definitely don't want to end up getting caught up in a situation where you're pregnant by someone that you're really not sure about to begin with. You know, somebody that it doesn't look like really is invested, if you will, with the juggling energy and the Knight of Cups in reverse. You don't want to deal with that kind of on and off again type of person that really throws you off inwardly with those dogs and how they're at each other with this hermit in reverse energy. We've got to walk away from that. And we got that sun and moon energy again, probably because there has been that competition. It feels like this person is going to do nothing but continue to put the empress in a competition, you know? And I say that too because here's the queen of wands. And we got the three of pentacles behind that. So definitely, you know, there, there could be someone in the background, someone that, you know, someone is not being honest about, basically. So I feel like if you are dealing with this type of person right now, or if this person could be trying to come back and you've dealt with this type of person, you definitely are want to, going to want to be clear and honest with yourself about what is going to bring you happiness. And, you know, is this person that one that could do that? But children is definitely... Um, a factor whether it's you being pregnant or having children by this person or them having children by someone else if you will all right so what's going on here so if somebody's having a child with someone else obviously that's a no-go you know there's no moving forward from something like that all right so this advice card from the lover's oracle says let there be closeness between you but always give each other space Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So this person could have been, again, a controlling type of person because maybe they are, you know, have money or are doing well financially, all right? But that's only to, you know, they use it as a means it feels like to trap people. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes, whoa. So it feels like somebody has definitely got their eye on you, but, you know, I'm not sure exactly who this could be. It could be this person that was controlling and who you know that you really, you know, just uh, may have to heal from. You know, she's got these scars here on, on her, and I always see that as a... Uh, You've earned your stripes. You know, you've been through the battles, if you will, perhaps with this person. Now it's time to focus on you. So this card says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. This can't, you can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. All right, so this is definitely that time to take a look in the mirror and really see what it is that's going to be best for you moving forward, especially into the new year, right, Leo? All right, well, you guys have a beautiful week ahead. Hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notifications. See you soon. Bye for now.